guys, um, today we're going to have a look at the Spectrum Plus 2 again. We did the modification to allow it to run a micro SD tape drive or an emulated tape drive and um, it's quite a simple fix but today we're going to concentrate on repairing the duff or dead cassette unit in there and what I found by looking at the cassette units is a common fault um, and it's not so much the mechanism that causes the fault and it's quite a relatively easy fix okay so what we're going to do is we're going to have a quick look at it and we're going to try and show you the easiest and quickest way to repair your cassette drive on your Sinclair ZX Spectrum Plus 2 okay so thanks again and we'll have a look now Right, so we're back with a Spectrum Plus 2 and um, we have an ongoing tape drive saga. Now this is a Plus 2 and um, this drive doesn't output any volume at all and um, if you put a, a meter across the small amplifier here, it's dead. It's absolutely dead and it needs sorting out. Now getting hold of working cassette decks for these is quite difficult now because um, they're tend to be failing a lot and that's if you look on eBay and places like that you'll find that there's a lot of these with um, failed cassette decks. Now the only option you got is to take apart another cassette deck such as just a standard one like you bought from WH Smith and take out the amplifier board because basically everything that runs from here to the amp from the head pickup runs to the amplifier you can get away with um, just redoing this end from the amplifier board you want to put on from another tape deck into the machine and that, that should work, that shouldn't cause any problems because you're just using the standard motor and head here. But I've decided to use a cassette deck that I've rescued from another plus two which was a black one as you can tell by the key colours and it's um, has issues so to speak there's no sound output from it but unlike the other one the the amplifier and the circuit seems quite good um checked it out there's voltage getting through it and it seems to be fine now i've since discovered the major failure on these is an earth and it's quite hidden it's quite hard to to kind of pick up even with a multimeter okay it, it looks as if there's no power getting around the board. But two screws on here, and they are actually your earthing screws. They've kind of done a bit of a cheat, really. They they use the um, the steel on the the cassette, you know, basically to um, cause an earth, much as you would in a in a car where they use the body of the car to do to use as the earth. Now, the simplest thing is you take these two screws out, you clean up the connections behind you, you pop it back together, and then all of a sudden you've got sound coming out from this tape deck. And then that's the first point of call I would actually check. As I say, most of the tape decks are not, they don't fail because of the, the motor, and they don't fail because of the gearing. They fail because of this small amplifier board here. So, I'm going to disconnect the original connector which I attached this to. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this slightly and just um, make it a little bit more neat because the other, one, other video was proof of concept. So I'm going to put a small hole in the case this time and I'm going to run the cable in through there. So we've got best of both worlds. And what I'm going to do is then reassemble this and change the keys. So to change the, the buttons, it's very simple. They're both identical on both models. You just undo the little bar by taking off the circlip on the other side and then pull the keys out and then swap them over, which is what I'm going to do now. So each key slides on one by one. And all you do is you just put them in the notch just here 
and then you slide the bar through the next one and the next one and the next one until you've got all of the keys in place. So that's literally all you do. Okay, so just pop it in the little gap, each one in there, until you get the last one in. Okay, so we just pop this one in the last little gap. That's all you do, you pop them in ready. And what you do is you slide the bar gently through, all the way through, until it comes out of the other side. And then you secure it with a little circlip. So now you have it, the tape deck's all nice and secured. And just make sure that these two screws are tightened up, okay? The only other thing, if um, these two grounds don't actually work uh, maybe because the um, the screw threads have got a bit worn or you know it's not making decent contact then resolder um, just solder on a wire and then send it to ground either on the tape deck so it's grounded to these pins and um, that will actually get it going as well and 99% if there's voltage all the way through um, is that ground which is causing problems so I'm just going to finish off bolting this thing together and then we're going to um, connect the the original wire from last time um, for the external SD drive onto here and then we're going to button it back up and load a tape from cassette so it's quite a simple fix but I mean try always try always try and check the grounds on these first before you go any further because four out of five now that I've had a look at have the problem with the ground with these not earthing the um, the bod to the body quite well enough so you don't get any sound out it looks like it's acting on the output so the outputs not being um, grounded so you're getting no sound into the machine so that's all it is so just give it a try it's worth a try before you start swapping any of the parts and as I say normally the decks are okay um, and you just got to check the amplified circuit on here and as I say even unsoldering that chip isn't too much of a chore but we'll cover that if we need to in, a, in another episode okay so let's just get this machine back together and working and now you just button up the ZX Spectrum and you just fasten the case down and then it's just a normal and as you can hear the motors are working so we're gonna now just try again And there we are, we've got the machine loading now. And it's just come straight from the Horizons tape. And as you can see it works perfectly well now. So after this we're going to just check out the SD card. Make sure that's still connected and working. Now, now this is from the SD card emulator and as you can see that still works a treat. The other thing you can see is that um, fixing the earth problem on the tape deck on these, it gets rid of any banding or lines when it's playing music. Um, normally if you've got an earth problem a good indication of that is that you're actually having banded lines coming across the screen and the screen goes a little bit more fuzzier so if you do that and your machine starts doing that then check the earth out and resolder a new connection if you need it okay so there we have it a very simple fix for a Sinclair ZX Spectrum Plus 2 cassette deck issue so I hope if you get one of these you check it out okay thanks for watching Thanks for listening and I hope we meet each other on this channel. So if you feel like you want to know more or you want to watch more, please subscribe and um, 
We'll see you again. Thank you. Goodbye. Thank you.